Hi there, and welcome to Kite and Carpenters Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorials. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to do these really cool um, two portraits mixed up into a puzzle with the random puzzle piece not quite fitting into the slot, as you can see here. It's a really nice, straightforward tutorial. You can do it at beginner level or intermediate to add some of the final touches. Um, to do it, you'll need two photographs of faces, ideally the same size so they match, so you've got them already rescaled. Um, and you'll need some photograph of a puzzle piece, or you can get them off the internet. Use puzzle piece template. Okay, so I'll show you what to do and talk you through it step by step. We're going to do it really simple, really easy. Okay, so once you've got a face like this, you will need to add another face on top of it. So file, place, embedded. You will need to find the other face. face and if you make it slightly see-through you can see that it will line up and you can make sure all the eyes etc are where you want them to be and then you know that you've got it in the same place if you need to stretch it around you click in the corner and you move it about so that it fits exactly how you want it okay very straightforward and make sure you rasterize it as well so you've got the two faces now you need to get the puzzle pieces. So you can search online or you can take a photograph of actual puzzle pieces. So I've already got some, so I'm gonna go place embedded, find my puzzle pieces, and my huge stack of video resources. And there are my puzzle pieces. Okay, press enter and right click rasterizing that layer as well. Now what we need to do is work out a pattern so that we've got half of one face and half of the other face showing through. Like I show you over here, you can see it kind of goes down the middle and a sort of random pile of pieces. So to do this, we're going to use the quick select tool and we need to press on the keyboard the shift button, which is the up arrow. And we're going to click on the pieces that we want to use for our selection. Like so, so that we've got a nice sort of random pattern going on, like so, so we've got our random selection of pieces, we then hide that layer, go to the layer with the first face, so make sure it's back to 100%, and we can either go control C, control V, which will do this, and copy and paste them over, or alternatively, we can go and add a layer mask, which will do the same thing. So whichever one works best for you, I like the layer mask myself, but the copy and paste is just as effective. Once we've done that, we can then add back the original image and we want to make it look like it is <clears throat> on top of the pieces. So at the moment you can't see anything through it. So we go up to our layer mode and we change it to multiply and this adds that layer of depth to our image that you can see here. Once we have done that, we want to add that final puzzle piece sort of cut out and missing. And to do that, we'll go back to our puzzle. We'll choose the piece that we want to copy out. We'll use our magic wand tool, making sure we're on the puzzle layer. We'll click on it. We'll then Go to the layer we want to cut the piece out from, and we will go with a simple Control C, Control V, and you will see that there. Actually, sorry, my bad. We'll do a Control X, cut out, and Control V, paste. So you can see if I hide everything, there's my cut out piece. Okay, and on the layer at the background, there'll be a hole where the piece was is what we want. So we need to get the piece, put it on top of everything, so it's at the very top. We can then move it to near where it's going to go, like so. Once we've got it near where we want it, we will click outside of the box and slightly rotate it so it looks like it's just lying around, hasn't been placed into the puzzle. And we'll press enter once we've done that move it around slightly and then we're going to go up to our layer and we're going to right click blending options 
and we're going to make it look like it's got a bit of a shadow behind it. So we're going to go down to our blending drop shadows over here. We're going to click on it so we've got the drop shadow menu. And we're going to experiment with the angle of the shadow so we get it to go where we think it will look best and how much shadow we want or how dark we want the shadow to be and if we want to make it spread out slightly more so that it looks like the piece is lying just above our face so once we've done that and we're happy with it we're going to click OK and you can see we've got our piece and we can move it around to exactly where we want it to go so it looks like it's about to be placed into our piece and then to remove this grey and put a white background in I'm going to add a new layer, put it at the very back put that at the very back and we'll bucket fill it in with some white so on the background there we'll bucket fill it white and work out why we are not seeing it white so it will go back to our puzzle click on the magic wand click in the box hide it put on the layer Ctrl X and then we have got a nice white background for where the puzzle piece is going to go okay hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial making puzzle faces mixed together and you can see the sort of two variations of it there and if you have obviously pop along to my channel and on my channel there are lots of playlists but in particular of interest is the photoshop playlist and if i show you what's there you can see we have a whole selection of different portrait work um, different artist responses and artist styles all with step-by-step -step, easy to follow tutorials so that you can make your own art responses you can see there are about just over 80 tutorials now of different effects that you can do and have fun experimenting with okay and um, one last thing on here obviously if you're not happy with any of the brightnesses and contrasts etc you can obviously go to image adjustments brightness contrast give it more contrast and darker or lighten it so that it fits better with your image once you're happy with your adjustments click ok and then you will have a perfectly good example of a puzzle piece okay thanks for watching and um, like i say pop over the channel give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button okay thanks for watching and goodbye